That was intense. The tell-all has been very eye-opening. I was a little surprised to get the apology from Jesse. I think he did it to save face. Tom's apology was more sincere. Yeah, he was coming from a truthful place. Jesse was just deflecting. and That was intense, but you know, I'm glad it happened. Yeah. I feel released. I feel good. Yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with a little bit of wrath when I get back from Georgie. But I'm just gonna go back home quietly and just, you know, said I had a successful day. So, hey, we're an open book and I'll continue being an open book. I don't believe Georgie and Darcy are ready for a marriage. I'll even say I don't even know if they have a realistic view of their own relationship. Yes. I don't know what the future holds. We're all kind of in transition right now. Well, that was a tell -all. Oh, yeah. At this point, I want what's best for Darcy, and she's willing to stick it out with Georgie. I'll support her. But she deserves better. Do you feel like Georgie is your forever love? You know, in moments, I definitely do. I, I want a forever marriage, so. It's going to take some time for me to digest everything and understand what I want for my future. You know, I'm hoping for the best each day at a time. I can make a sound decision in the end for myself. Let's go home. All in God's hands. After the tell-all, I went back to the hotel room, and exactly what I thought was going to happen, happened. Georgie was trying to trigger. He was starting to try to create some sort of drama, an argument, and I just wasn't having it. And I just knew in that moment I had to cut the cord. And I said, it's over. I gave too many chances, and I hit my limit. And I know this time is done, for real. And that's it. No looking back. <laughs>